let us see a problem here from the chapter mathematical induction here question is prove the following by the principle of induction for all n belonging to capital n set of natural numbers here statement is 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus up to 2n minus 1 into 2n plus 1 is equal to n into 4n square plus 6n minus 1 upon 3. So, here total number of terms is n. So, that we can observe here that this is 2 into 1 plus 1, 3 in first term this 3 is 2 into 1 plus 1. Here this is 2 into n plus 1. So, this is as first term this is n term. So, total number of terms is here n and we can prove this very easily by the principle of mathematical induction. In the previous videos we have done some problems and we have already discussed what is principle of mathematical induction and how we can apply this principle for solving this type of problems. So, this is a very interesting and simple. Let us see the solution. Here this is known as mathematical statement denoted by P n. So, here P n means mathematical statement is given as 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 up to nth term that is 2 n minus 1 into 2 n plus 1 and this is equal to n into 4 n square plus 6 n minus 1 divided by 3. Let us call it relation number 1. Okay? And uh, according to the principle of mathematical induction, we will solve this problem in three steps. First step is we have to show that P1 is true. Means whenever we put n is equal to 1, this statement will be true that we have to establish, that we have to show. That is first step. Second step, we assume that PR is true means when we put n is equal to r in this given statement, we assume that this relation is existing, that is true. And third step, we have to show that p r plus 1 is true, means whenever you will put n is equal to r plus 1 in this given statement, we will establish that LHS is equal to RHS. Then we will conclude that by principle of mathematical induction, this given statement is true for all natural number set of all natural number set of n okay correct so let us see step number 1 here we have to show that p1 is true means putting n is equal to 1 then we will get p1 so first of all here to show that p1 is true and for that we put n is equal to 1 in relation number 1 and we will show that LHS is equal to RHS it means P1 will be true. So, n is equal to 1 here means total number of terms will be 1 means only first term we will take in the left hand side. So, left hand side is here 1 into 3 and in right hand side in place of n we will write 1. So, 1 into 4 into 1 square plus 6 into 1 minus 1 divided by 3 or this is 3 is equal to here uh, that this is 4 plus 6 minus 1 by 3 or 3 is equal to 9 by 3 this is 3. So, we are getting here 3 is equal to 3 which is true. So, therefore, we conclude here that therefore, P1 is true. This is our first step to show P1 is true. Next step, let us assume that PR is true. We here assume that PR is true means whenever we will put n is equal to r, this is, uh, statement will exist. That is, putting n is equal to r here, then we will get p r. 
that is 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 up to 2 r minus 1 into 2 r plus 1 this is equal to r into 4 r square plus 6 r minus 1 divided by 3 just putting n is equal to r here and this is relation number 2. Third step we have to show that p r plus 1 is true. Now to show that p r plus 1 is true that is it means when we will put r plus 1 in place of n then we have to show that LHS is equal to RHS. Okay. So, putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. What we are getting here? This is 1 into 3 plus 3 into 5 plus 5 into 7 plus this is 2 r minus 1 into 2 r plus 1 this is the term previous to the last one and uh, here we have put n is equal to r we have to go up to n is equal to r plus 1 so here when we will put n is equal to r plus 1 this will be 2 r plus 2 minus 1 means 2 r plus 1 into n is r plus 1 so 2 into r plus 1 plus 1 means 2 r plus 3 2 r plus 3 this is equal to here also we will put n is equal to r plus 1 so this is r plus 1 into 4 into r plus 1 whole square plus 6 into r plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3. So, here we have to show we have to establish that LHS is equal to RHS. Okay? So, here LHS is this much and up to this much part we can put this value here by relation number 2. So, LHS can be written as for this part we will write this much so, r into 4 r square plus 6 r minus 1 divided by 3 and plus remaining part is this much. So, this is 2 r plus 1 into 2 r plus 3 correct and let us simplify it. This is equal to LCM will be 3 here and uh, we will multiply these factors together. So, multiplying here with R 1 by 3, 3 is LCM and multiplying with R we will get here 4 R cube plus 6 R square minus R and here multiplying these terms and this uh, factors will be multiplied with this 3 denominator after taking LCM. So, 3 into this much. So, this is 2 r into 2 r 4 r square into 3 is 12 r square here 2 r into 3 6 r plus 2 r 8 r into 3. So, 24 r and constant is 1 into 3 that is 3 and here LCM 3 so 3 into 3 9 so plus 9 ok. Now let us simplify it further here 4 r cube plus this is 6 r square and 12 r square so plus 18 r square correct and here minus r plus 24 r so plus 23 r 
and here plus 9 we have to show that this much is equal to this rhs so you see here r plus 1 is a factor so this r plus 1 factor we have to get from here so we will break these terms in such a way that we could get r plus 1 as a common in every term so that we can take common r plus 1 so let us arrange it so this is 1 by 3 here 4 r cube let us write here 4 r square so that when 4 r square will be common we will get r plus 1 here this r plus 1 as a factor so we have to arrange in this way okay and you see out of 18 r square we have taken 4 r square here so remaining 14 r square we will write here 14 r square then we will write here 14 r so that after taking 14 r common we will get here r plus 1 and out of this 23 r we have already taken 14 r so remaining is 9 r so this is 9 r plus 9 here also we will get r plus 1 as a factor when we will take 9 common from these two terms okay and this is equal to 1 by 3 let us try to factorize so taking here 4 r square common 4 r square common r plus 1 and here 14 r common r plus 1 and here 9 r plus 9 so 9 is common r plus 1 and this is equal to taking r plus 1 common so here r plus 1 by 3 into 4 r square plus 14 r plus 9 4 r square plus 14 r plus 9 okay we have to reach at this place so you see here for r plus 1 whole square so we'll try to arrange it in such a way that we will could get here r plus 1 whole square that we can do here so this is r plus 1 by 3 and here 4 r square plus 8 r plus 4 4 r square plus 8r plus 4 so that when 4 will be common the remaining part will be r square plus 2r plus 1 which is r plus 1 whole square so 4r plus 1 whole square this much portion will get from here clear and out of 14r we have already taken 8r here so remaining is 6r okay remaining is 6r so plus 6r plus let us write here how much you see 6r plus 1 so 6r plus 6 so that when we will get 6 common we will get r plus 1 okay and plus 3 but uh, we must have minus 1 here ok no problem we have taken here 4 plus 6 that is 10 10 we have already written here but we have only 9 so for adjusting this one we will write here minus 1 correct so now we are in this step we are getting the result now we are not very far from the result here we will take 4 common after taking 4 common here r square plus 2 r plus 1 that is r plus 1 whole square r plus 1 whole square and here we will take 6 common so r plus 1 6 common r plus 1 and last term is minus 1 so you see we are getting this much result here this is right hand side which we are getting here 
r plus 1 into 4 r plus 1 whole square plus 6 r plus 1 minus 1 divided by 3. So, this is right hand side that is LHS is equal to RHS that is P r plus 1 is true that we have established. So, just one line you have to write therefore, by the principle of mathematical in, uh, induction this given statement is true for all n. So, therefore, this P n is true for all n proved. Very interesting question, very simple question just we have to understand the different steps how we can proceed. You will do this question very easily, very uh, important question. Okay? So, thank you very much for watching this video. We have to see so many questions in other videos uh, to come. Thank you very much.